But today I want to talk about black health and the implications of the options that we have when we live in a black community. If you go through a black community, you might realize that you see a lot of pizza shops, a lot of corner stores that sell chips and a lot of sugary treats and candy and different things like that. What you will see are lack of or dearth of healthy places like Whole Foods or natural produce or produce that has been picked. Uh, recently. That can have huge implications on the community as a whole. Your only source of nutrition is in a pizza or a sub or various things like that or chips or soda. Soda is super bad for you. It wears away against your teeth because it's so acidic. And chips, you know, you find that they're made with a lot of Monsanto ingredients, which isn't good for your body. Pizza, you know, high in cheese, high in saturated fat. A lot of saturated fat will, of course, accumulate in your arteries and potentially lead to heart attacks and other heart-related diseases. Eating too much of any of these things is just really not good for your health. And you find that you have a community that is so exposed to these types of food and lack of nutrition. Whereas if you go to wealthier neighborhoods, you'll find there's whole foods and there's other healthy stores that are super expensive and really only the people who are in neighborhoods that are of that wealth can't afford to actually go there on a regular basis. And even in the black community, you'll find that there are areas of food deserts where you find that it's very inconvenient and very far away to find a place that actually gives you the nutritional source that you need in order to have a healthy life. So what does that mean for the black community? It means that we need to use our civic prowess to petition our elected officials to get us more healthy foods, to make healthier options more accessible to the people who can afford the least, to our children, to our elders, to everybody who wants to eat these healthy natural produce. We need to call upon our elected officials to raise our life expectancy by making it more accessible for us to get these foods that will help us. But we also need to do it in a way that doesn't allow for the doors of gentrification to stay open. Because as you can see within areas of Dorchester and Roxbury, when gentrification happens, residents who've been there for years, over decades, become immigrants become treated as illegals and they are not seen as being a part of the community that is being gentrified. But what do you think? How do we bridge the gap of bringing healthy food that might seem more expensive but then also disallowing people to come in and displace people who've lived here for over decades? These are issues that we need to talk about. We need to start making tangible leaps in order to address this issue.